All right, I am uh, conflicted about this information, but I'm going to show it. Now, I, because I am about facts, and this apparently is a fact, and you can discuss it amongst yourself and decide if it's a fact or not. Think on your own. That appears to be an embryo. And I want you to notice something here. Whoops. You see this here? You see how dark that is? And you see this trail here? You see that black trail running back to here? It's back to this spot. It emerges from this spot right here. Do you see that? Let's look at this a little closer. Alright, we see the black trail going back. And we see it going to here, and we see a little reddish looking, bloody looking stuff, and there's that trail coming back. And this, I believe, is a vagina. And out came that egg, or that fetus, and traveled right here in this pathway. And this, my friends, appears to be sperm. That's all I can say. You look, you see what you think. But if you look close at them, you can actually see the DNA in the heads. You see this here? So that's the little programs inside the heads. And I, look, look, see this? This is what you see inside what I'm calling an embryo. Now, this whole trail runs after that egg. And, and then I think the winners got all the way down to the, oops, let me come out here a little bit. I'll find my egg here. Here's my egg. Okay, so these guys here were traveling down trying to get to the egg. Well, some of the guys won. And then the egg, I believe, spit out this black stuff to kill the rest of them. You see how they're all trying to get in here? You see them? Well, if the winner gets in, the rest of them get killed. I, th I know that's the way it works in nature, and I'm looking like it looks like it's what's happening here. And here is what we're seeing, and here is what I'm saying is, uh, is the uh, DNA is being formed. See them all over the place. You see, look at this. Let me show you this. I'm going to try to come in. You look close at this here. You see those little breaks? Da, 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 da. Look now, deep in here, you go. See it? Look. You see all these things running in? All these things running? That is being programmed. You see this? Look. You see that? You see that? You see that? What can I say? That's what you're seeing? That's what I'm seeing. All right? And then you come back out of here and you see all this. I mean, that is exactly what they say the cells look like. And then you see this one set up here. It has your blood and it comes into this fluty looking thing and that's sending out fibrils like crazy. Alright, and where are they going? They're going into an interface right here that feeds into those all these developing cells or whatever they are. That's all kind of DNA getting ready to do its DNA thing. And what they're doing is it's got to be telling each one of these, hey, you're going to be a nose, you're going to be an ear, you're whatever it is. Now, you see that? And then this, you see over here, look at that, and then that. You see that, that, this, that, this, this, you see all the mineralized, you see all the mineralized, what can I say? That's what cell division does. And here's the same thing. What can I say to you? I'm seeing what you're seeing, and this is on the face of the planet, and I'm sorry, that's a fact. What can I say? You see this thing? I think that now, I thought that was a cluster of cells. Now I don't think so. I believe that is the placenta. And it is this actually right here is the actual architecture of a vein. The clamp of a vein. That is like pinches. So the blood can't go back or can't come in. Well, either way, whatever it is. But you can see some kind of bloody trail coming behind here. And then you see another uh, a tube over here, and then these two in between, which are could be nerves and so forth. But th that's exactly the architecture of of what I believe the placenta would be. And then you look at what is going on from here. You see these things here. That's the fibrils, and that's the fascia. And then you get down into here, and you can see this fascia here. 
Well, when that first started out, it was shooting out of here like, like the hammers of hell. It was unbelievable. Now, if you look closely enough, you could see little blocks in here. And those little blocks, I believe, are the programs that are, go are being sent back and forth. And this, you can see, is a double cell layer. And this is beginning to pinch off. And that's all I can tell you. And these are the D DNA, uh, little swishies DNA that it's forming all over the place. I mean, there's a lot of different uh, packages of DNA that happen inside of your cells. So, you see that? That's just not... You don't have that in your backyard. I don't have it in my backyard. This, is just, this has got to be looked at. Somebody should think about this. What are we doing to our Earth? Our Earth is alive. It's alive. We're drilling holes and putting bombs in there. Don't you understand what we're doing? I've been screaming for years about this. And I think God is showing me the earth is alive. And pay attention, you people. You know, to me, he's saying, you know, go tell these people. God, pay, pay attention. I'm living. I'm a living creature here. You're killing me. I think it's got to be looked at. Thank you. Mud Fossil University on YouTube. Mud Fossil University. We've done DNA tests on ancient gigantic humans it's all true the stories they said titans you know obviously the earth is alive what can i say